somebody out here, man, that shit hard. I'll be having the work flow. I've been trying to find somebody new. That shit was successful. This is why I keep on meeting women whose birthday coming up. Like, <laughs> I don't even know if I like you like that. You gonna know, make me buy you something? Like, I ain't never met nobody whose birthday was yesterday. Like, every time I get somebody phone number, I call my hey baby, what you doing? She like, shit, planning for my birthday party. I said, well, let me call your ass back, man. <laughs> and I figured it out. Fuck out of here. People be so single for so long, because sometimes we talk too goddamn much. Sometimes you got to learn how to shut the fuck up, because you're going to talk your way right out of a relationship. Because you don't know how to be quiet. A relationship is give and take. Stop giving so goddamn much. <laughs> I go to this girl house, so I cross the threshold, she just run her goddamn mouth. I'd have been on this for three hours and I just now realized that she don't even have a TV <laughs> at her house. Talking about, do you want to spend a night? Hell no, I don't want to spend a night, bitch. Listen to you all that, I'm going to have power on my phone. <laughs> and if you don't want to spend a night at somebody's house, y'all, you got to have your lie in order. My lie is that I got to go to work. <laughs> Nigga like me, I keep a work shirt in my car. <laughs> Before I touch that pussy, it's already established that I got to go to work. Nigga, I be lying so good, I be ironing the hell out there work shirt. <laughs> Putting starch on it and everything. Like, and it's crazy, because I don't even work for these folks no more. Like, you know how hard it is to be on time for a job that you don't even have? <laughs> Sitting alone.